day everyone so i am traveling and i want you guys to come with me on this experience if i should tell you it's been such a never-wrecking time trying to plan all this trip and everything but anyway come with me let's go to ghana Yee! i'm so excited but still it's mixed emotions because i'm gonna miss my kids yes i'm going by myself without the kids it's gonna be fun but i miss them already they're going to school so i'm just packing up my stuff now so let's go <laughs> in gone for security I'm gonna make my way to my gate now and I'll get back to you guys I'm tired already okay, so I'm finally make it to the gate can you believe I'm the first here this was too tiring to get here like I'll tell you guys all about it but yeah I got stopped to get searched because um, when I work for security my bags were okay by myself I had to get searched for some reason so I had to take off my shoes, jewelry, everything, and get searched. And I'm here now waiting. The gates are not opened yet. Gate 37, not opened yet. So, wait, it says to open at 5 past 12. Yes, 5 past 12. Anyway, guys, I have to give you the rundown of traveling in this COVID time. It is stressful. Like, seriously stressful but anyway i'm glad i'm here i'm just gonna wait here chillax i'm sure i'll sleep throughout the flight normally i don't sleep but i'm gonna sleep throughout because i am tired like, the transit train to bring us here wasn't working so i had to leg it and i'm in heels anyway catch you guys when i get in the plane yeah I'm just about to make myself comfortable and then well I'm one of the first to get in as usual so it's good it's all good it's all good I've met a few friends can you believe that anyway guys we'll cut that later After five and a half hours, we finally made it to Kotoka International Airport in Ghana. But unfortunately, there was a thunderstorm, so we kept going round and round in the air. And finally, pilot came out and said we have to direct the plane to Lome in Togo. Guess what, guys? We ended up in Lome, and here we are in Lome. We had to stay there for another five hours before we finally made it back to Kutoka. It was such a tiring journey. 
I was meant to get to Kotoka at 8.45. I ended up leaving the, um, the airport around 2 a.m. So yes, that's me getting a taxi home because those who were meant to pick me up had to go back home. Anyway, look out for more videos coming. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.